entrepreneurial spirit and provide tax relief <coughs> to citizens. It has been constant endeavor of the Income Tax Department to improve taxpayer services by making compliance easy and smooth. Our taxpayers portal received a maximum of 72 lakh returns in a day, processed more than 6.5 crore returns this year. Average processing period reduced from 93 days in financial year 2014 to 16 days only now. And 45% of the returns were processed within 24 hours. We intend to further improve this, roll out the next generation common IT return form for taxpayer convenience and also plan to strengthen the grievance redressal mechanism. MSMEs and professionals. MSMEs are growth engines of our economy. Micro enterprises with turnover up to 2 crore of rupees and certain professionals with turnover of up to 50 lakh rupees can avail the benefit of presumptive taxation. I propose to provide enhanced limits of 3 crore and 75 lakh respectively to the taxpayers whose cash receipts are no more than 5%. Whose cash receipts are no more than 5%. Moreover, to support MSMEs in timely receipt of payments, I propose to allow deduction for expenditure incurred on payments made to them only when payment is actually made. Cooperation. Cooperation is a value to be cherished. In realizing our Prime Minister's goal for Saikar Se Samridhi and his resolve to connect the spirit of cooperation with the spirit of Amrit Kal, in addition to the measures proposed in Party, I have a slew of proposals for the cooperation sector. First, new cooperatives that commence manufacturing activities till 2024-31st March shall get the benefit of a lower tax rate of 15% as is presently available to new manufacturing companies. Secondly, I propose to provide an opportunity to sugar cooperatives to claim payments made to uh, sugarcane farmers for the period prior to the ass assessment year 2016-17 as expenditure. This is expected to provide them a relief of almost 10,000 crores. Thirdly, I am providing a higher limit of 2 lakh per member for cash deposits to loan cash by primary agricultural cooperative societies and primary agricultural, primary cooperative agriculture and rural development banks. I repeat that. Thirdly, I am providing a higher limit of 2 lakh per member for cash deposits to and loans in cash by primary agricultural cooperative societies and primary cooperative agricultural and rural development banks. Similarly, a higher limit of 3 crore for TDS on cash withdrawal is being provided to cooperative societies. Startups. 